We'll take another call from Michael in Montana. Michael, welcome to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Good morning, Bobby. Thanks for taking my call. You're welcome. I've got a 2005 Chrysler Town & Country uh, van, stow and go, 3.8 liter engine. And we're going to take a road trip here pretty soon. And I'd like to know what the mechanics should look for just to do in a checkover because it does run really good. How many miles? Uh, 50,000. Okay. Uh, uh... Got a pen or an iPod? Or, <laughs> well, uh, you want to change the fuel filter because I bet that has not been done in a new okay. year. I did do all the filters with Royal Purple here about 5,000 miles ago. Okay. Uh, specifically the fuel filter? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Because that comes with hoses and lines on it. And and you want to do this work, whatever whatever I share with you, you want to do this work at least a week before you leave so that whatever new part is installed has time to seat in or leak or nod its ugly head or do a good job, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. You, you always want to give yourself some uh, lead time there. So you've already got the fuel filter replaced. You're going to have new oil and filter. Uh, rotate. For sure, I will take the vehicle out on the road and run 68 miles per hour to make sure that I had no vibrations. Okay. Be- because if you haven't done that in a while, uh, one of the biggest heartburns that I have with highway driving is the fact that I've, the car is beautiful. It's all clean. It's waxed and everything. I take it off the cover and... I go out and I hit 68, 67 miles, and that just happens to be a harmonic uh, point that most cars will vibrate if they're going to. And uh, sure enough, uh, it, it forces you to either drive faster, and sometimes faster is better because the vibration goes away and that you keep up with traffic depending on the traffic, and sometimes it's not. So you're relegated to drive <clears throat> Any speed, but that vibration speed. So for sure, you want to check the, the vibration factor. You want to check the wear on the tires, the inside tread and the outside tread, so you can get a handle on how they're wearing. And you want to run about 3 PSI more pressure in the vehicle uh, than you normally would run. And that what the factory says, and the factory is not what's on the sidewall, but what's on the door jam. Okay. And don't don't believe, don't don't use what's on the sidewall because that's the building code for the tire. It has nothing to do with the pressure you're supposed to run. And let's see, uh, what windshield wiper blades, uh, that's for sure. Uh, Fifty thousand miles. I'm going to give you. Let's see, hoses should be okay. Water pump should be okay. Uh, of course, check all the lights. Uh, rear windshield wiper, cabin air. That, that vehicle should have, a town and country should have a cabin air uh, filter mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. that needs to be changed. Make sure the spare tire and jack is there. Uh, and I will tell you, it, it would be, for me, who wants to change a tire on the road, on the side of the road? I shudder every time I see a car pulled over with a hood open or, or a jack and, and, you know, having to pull all the, the baggage out. So I would add a can of uh, fix-a-flat to my uh, take-along travel bag. Hey, thanks for your call. Have a great trip. And folks, we're going to take a short trip ourselves. We're going to come back. Don't touch that dial.